So 1.1, freeze drying of foods and refrigeration. Let's start with freeze drying. Well, why would you want to do that? Uh, well, it makes it lighter. You've removed the water. And also, it's a preservative. The food will last longer. So let's look at the classic example, which is uh, coffee beans or coffee grains. They contain water and they're in a container with a, an atmosphere above them. The temperature of the container is reduced until the coffee freezes, hence the freeze in freeze drying. Now, why doesn't that water sublime from the coffee bean from the solid to the gaseous phase? Well, the air pressure above, the air molecules above are keeping that water in the coffee bean. So let's remove some of the air. So it'll be less of a problem. So the pressure is reduced above the frozen coffee beans. And then they're slightly heated, just heated a bit. And what happens now is the water molecules have enough energy to escape from the solid phase straight into the gaseous phase, sublimation. Now this couldn't happen before because it was colder and the air pressure above was keeping those water molecules in the coffee. Oh, happy now? Well, I feel, I feel like a cup of coffee. Can you make me a cup of coffee, love? Make your own bloody coffee. Hmm. So you're not expected to memorise all these details, but uh, in a refrigeration unit, let's look at five of the gas molecules of the refrigerant, normally a CFC. So when they go to the compressor, they get, well, they get compressed, the gas gets squashed closer together, and it heats up. You know, if you have gas in a bicycle pump and you use that, the pump gets hotter, the gas gets hotter. And then this hot gas is moved through the radiator at the back of the fridge and it cools down, it loses that energy, and then it's squirted through what's called an evaporator into the coils in the actual fridge. Now, you know when you have an aerosol can and you spray it, it's very, very cold? It's the opposite. You squash a gas and it gets hot and you unsquash or you allow a gas to spread out and it gets colder. So these cold gas particles move down the tube and as they move down the tube, they absorb heat, or they absorb energy from the contents of the fridge. And so the gas particles themselves gradually warm up and the fridge gradually cools down. As they work their way around, this process continues until they go back to the compressor again. And you guessed it, at the compressor, this now warm gas is squashed becomes hot gas, and is passed off again around the radiator to lose that extra energy. You know what? I feel like, a, I feel like an iced coffee. Oh, that's it. Wow.